thinking about what guests want in terms of creating a design, we're always looking outside of a venue and looking at other types of design and where the world is heading. And always hospitality seems to take the lead on trends, but it always comes back to finding new ways to entertain, uh, whether it be a hotel environment or a venue environment. It always comes back to creating those moments that you can't make happen in your living room. So looking at other industries like the hotel industry help us understand what it means to bring people together, moving people more into a bar setting or a living room setting. When I first started working in the sports and venue world, I noticed that there were very few women in the industry doing what I was doing. And it kind of shocked me because there's definitely a high percentage of women attending the events. Women tend to be the more social uh, person out and about where if I go for instance, to an event with my spouse. My spouse will watch the game while I'm the one socializing. It's really exciting and interesting seeing that it's flipping and more and more women are seen at the table in design meetings and really are the ones speaking loudly about who this uh, premium guest is. The thing that excites me the most and it has been the most fun recently is really teaming with different food service providers. We do have a few favorite that we tend to team with a lot, helping them create the next thing in food for these spaces and coming up with concepts that help them win their RFPs. That has really given us an insight as to what is next from a food and beverage standpoint, which really helps us become better designers for the overall spaces. We're able to work with them in charrettes and think differently and quickly to come up with these responses that then in turn become the next big movement in the food and beverage industry. Typically, when they are responding to an RFP, it is for a specific location. They bring us in early in the process while they're brainstorming of how they're going to approach food and beverage in this new location. And they give us like two or three weeks and allow us to brainstorm with them to create an environment. When they do their RFP submission, they submit renderings that we've created for these new spaces. So um, we only have two or three weeks to do it, which honestly makes it more fun because you know, you're, you're just throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks. And it's amazing some of the things we've come up with in that short of time. We just put a dessert cart design uh, for one of the food service providers and they said, throw out all the rules, create something you've never seen. And that was just super fun. I like to say that we shine when we're creating places where people choose to spend their free time. And if you think of that as being a sports arena, a convention center, a shopping center, all these great public spaces inside, outside, and, and you don't just get locked into people who all they do are sports. I think doing other things makes you better at doing any single thing.